still to be cleared and that is provisional at the moment of course as well we'll give you news on that where we can uh, let's start off at the front of the field a full position for the Porsche 919 hybrid team uh, number 18 of Neil Yanni and Mark Lee congratulations gentlemen Neil uh, that was a, a bit of an odd one what happened with you uh, early on it seemed like you you didn't get the run you expected uh, yeah um, after the restart from, from the red flag, uh, on the flying lap I had no, no hybrid in work, so I had no boost for all the lap and that made the whole lap very difficult, both in braking and everywhere, and but basically there's no chance. I still had to finish the lap because uh, with the red flag there was not a lot of time left to, to get marking. And then, uh, yeah, we saw uh, there's enough time, so I went back out, just because the alleys were quite close. Um, and then the unexpected happened, so uh, we're quite happy with that. Two sets of tyres that you used, or just the one? No, I reused my used one. Right, so okay. uh, I used my old set from the first round, which had the red flag, so that's why we say the unexpected happened. Uh, to do that lap time uh, was even a surprise for me inside. Well done, well done indeed. Uh, scrambling to get that to work. Uh, Mark, for you, massive pressure, because the tyre was ticking away, and effectively you, you just had the one lap. Yeah, I mean, it was clear that Neil had to go back in the car, but it was also, I mean, it's just a very tight time management in these, uh, you know, in these 20, 25 minutes. It's uh, very difficult. And uh, yeah, I did my lap. Uh, wasn't ideal. The last sector, I had some uh, some issues. Otherwise, I was uh, I was quite happy. And then I had to push in quite hard for the for the in lap uh, to get back uh, quickly to the pits. And then Mr. Johnny did an awesome job. And uh, so we are. Uh, we are happy with, with that. A little bit surprised, of course, and uh, of course uh, the other car was a bit unlucky as well. But uh, I mean, we had the luck today. Uh, we were struggling a bit in free practice, so we, we take that. Yeah, everybody. Uh, everybody at DSC the struggle early part of the week as well. Struggle to get a balance on the car. You are down to just six sets of tyres, of course, for this from eight that you had at the Nurburgring. Is that going to be an issue? The, the Porsche has had some. Some issues trying to double stick tyres in the race in the past in the first part of the season. I don't think so. I think we uh, we worked on that. We improved that as well with the new aero package. It's got a lot, it's got a lot better. Um, I think it's a question mark if you can do double stints here with the temperature and the heat. Uh, also the driver and tyres. It's uh, yeah, it's not going to be easy. But uh, for sure somebody will try it. So we will see how this in the race. But we are confident, and uh, it doesn't look like we do so many stints in that race. So we're quite. Uh, they're quite happy with the performance of the car and uh, we will have a good race car as well. Well done, kept us entertained. Thank you very much indeed. Let's move on to Rebellion. Guys, congratulations. Uh, fantastic run for Nick Heidfeld and Matthias Best. Racing, I know, the whole team with heavy hearts this weekend. We, uh, we think of you all. Tell us, however, about the qualifying session. The qualifying session was quite difficult. Luckily, we finished uh, in the front, but uh, had a couple of problems. Um, my, my first lap after the red flag on not new tyres seemed quite good and then in the middle of the straight there was an engine issue and it um, went into a safety mode so I had to abort this lap and also after that it didn't run clean anymore and the tyres were going away so I was quite disappointed and not happy with, with the lap uh, at all so in the end happy to, to at least be, be ahead of the other privateers. Uh, and Matthias, your stint with the car, did you uh, have the, the same issue? Has it cleared itself up? Yes, I tried to, um, to change some, some settings, but uh, yeah, we have to, to look at it more clearly. And I just got one lap basically, and um, yeah, the tyres, the front were not there, so a bit disappointing as well on the balance. We have to analyse if we can and see how it is tomorrow. Uh, good luck for tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Uh, KCMG, just joined us. Hi guys. Uh, we talked about the uh, front of the field giving us a bit of drama. You two uh, as well. Matt, what, uh, what happened? Went out the pits and then uh, nothing. Yeah, just uh, it, it went and then it didn't go. So uh, it happened just on the up pit to turn one as well. So if it had happened in the pit lane, it probably would have been much easier. Um, but I managed to get up to second gear and then, and then no fuel pressure. They, they pulled you around the circuit and off the circuit. Um, presumably you were still in 
in contact with the team. So I did see you come back with the pitch, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you get it going out on the far side of the circuit and rejoin from there, or did you come back through the infield? No, I came back through the infield. So uh, yeah, they, they overestimated the amount of steering lock I had, so I nearly had a crash on the way back to the, the pits. Uh, yeah, I wish I was joking, but it was, it was very close. I just like your turn of phrase. That yeah. was excellent. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so then we got back to the pits, uh, got it back on, you know, got it fixed. And I mean, it was a lot of pressure because we I had one lap um, and uh, didn't get much of a run in free practice three either. So I think uh, Richard and I did quite a good job there to deliver a good time under a lot of pressure. Clearly you thought you weren't going to get to go with the car, Richard. Uh, you were sitting there, we saw the pictures uh, of you sort of gazing at the screen out in the space thinking am i ever going to get my turn so when it did come around were you, were you ready to go or did you already get sort of given up hope no i never really gave up hope i was just you know i was going through the lap in my head because uh, you don't know if you're going to get called upon at short notice or not so you just got to be ready for anything um i was gauging but i was fairly chilled out and then when we got in the car uh the car was incredible it gave me so much confidence i think as we all saw on the tv uh, the first lap was a bit too much confidence um, but uh, then the second lap, I pulled it all together, and yeah, we got pole position, and uh, we're looking very strong for the race tomorrow. You did what you need to do. I know there's an investigation going on. We all say everything's provisional at this stage. Well, congratulations as drivers, you did exactly what you needed to do. Well done, Thank you. Uh, let's move on to GTE Pro. Uh, Fernando Reese at the back, along with Richie Stanaway. Some mics at the back there for you guys. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, congratulations, Fernando. Uh, full position. Tell me about the lap. So, yeah, it was alright. Uh, not, not the perfect lap, but it was good enough uh, to put it in the fight for, for Paul. I think we had uh, to work a session after session, and we got closer and closer to the, the fastest guys. And I think uh, it's good we, we get at one point. That's all we can get today. So we'll get one point to start recovery. Uh, the last two races which were, has been respected. Uh, Richie, good job mate. Enjoyable or just pressure? I don't know, it was a pretty enjoyable session. Um, I think we were probably on uh, good form for Paul and Nürburgring as well, but we decided not to run two new sets of tyres. Um, but obviously it's better for the average for both drivers to have new tyres, which is what we've done today, um, which obviously helped a lot. And, um, the team have been doing a really good, great job with the car. We've been changing quite a lot throughout the um, each free practice session, and we've made it a lot better than when we started in free practice one. But um, yeah, I was reasonably happy with the lap. Could have been a little bit better, but um, Fernando did a great job as well. But uh, I'm not quite sure how we'll, we'll be tomorrow in the long runs. But um, hopefully the car's in a pretty good place, and we'll see where we end up. Now you have to change tactics, anybody with a roof on tomorrow is going to suffer. So, already have you spoken about potentially having to change tactics because of the, the warm weather tomorrow? Yeah, well, I'm not sure if we can double send tyres anyway, but if we could double send tyres, then it's a question of whether or not the driver is comfortable to do it. So, um, that's something we'll have to think about tonight. Yeah. Have a good one. Enjoy the full position for now. Last but by no means least, congratulations to... Dempsey Proton for your first pole position. You didn't enjoy that at all, Mr. Dempsey, did you? You were on camera all the time. Well, I enjoy it now. It's certainly not <laughs> prior to qualifying. You know, I think this track, track is incredibly challenging, and certainly the temperature, you know. Um, but yeah, it's very satisfying to get our first pole here in, in the States, and, and, and then certainly in this series, in this category. Uh, you know, I've had such tremendous support from uh, Porsche and all the drivers, and everybody involved this year to, to get a lot of seat time. I'm certainly fortunate enough to be next to uh, Patrick Long and, and Marco, you know, a, a tremendous honor and a pleasure to be up here and, and amongst all these drivers in, in this series. It's, it feels really nice. <laughs> and it, apparently it's all down to the new low drag haircut, is that right? Yeah, I've taken off about a tent uh, with my short hair. <laughs> then I've cut down on the amount of product that I'm using, so I think <laughs> uh, it's a little tricky in the morning, but uh, you know, I'm getting out of the room a little faster. Yeah, all good stuff. Pat Long, congratulations, sir. You looked like you had had a shot that it, that it maybe wasn't going to come. Was it a team decision or was it your decision that there was a little bit more left in the car and you could go again? No, my engineer, Jacques, is as competitive as any driver or engineer out here. And uh, obviously, he's not going to give up until the tires surpass its peak. Um, he was yelling in my ear to just keep digging, and uh, we were able to pull it out on the final lap there. Um, we knew we had a car since the onset of the weekend. We came out yesterday pretty strong, and then we had an unfortunate uh, bit of contact this morning with an LMP2 car, so I didn't get into the car. I didn't really know what I had, but um, you know, don't let Patrick 
sell himself short. At Nurburgring, we had the fastest lap in the class. Uh, we started P2 on average, and the differentiator was him working hard between Nurburgring and here. So our kind of dream season continues after Le Mans, and then we'll just keep pushing, and it's a long race tomorrow. Do you dare think, Patrick, and Patrick, about the top step of the podium, or is you just take what comes tomorrow and, and react to what happens, Patrick? No, you just hit your marks. Um, there's a lot of things in the race that are going to be outside of your control, and uh, we, we know we have a good car, a reliable car, and a quick car based on today. Um, the team behind us is pretty solid, so uh, we'll just hit our marks and see where we end up.